afternoon, how are you? Welcome to Craft Along here on Crafters TV, brought to you by Crafters Companion. My name's George Aiken, and it's my absolute pleasure to be with you this Saturday, wherever you are in the world. And what a week you have joined us on. It is our second anniversary here at Crafters TV, meaning we've been around for two years, can you believe it or not? And uh, well, to celebrate, we thought about sending cake out to everybody but we thought you might like something a little bit better so how about over a quarter of a million pounds worth of giveaways and prizes across the week here on our celebration week all the way to Thursday the 2nd of September. Now every live show that you watch, either that be today or coming in the next few days, you've got a chance to get yourself some amazing goodies, including just by spending your money, because if you spend over £50, you're going to get yourself this amazing free Crafters Companion notebook just there. If you spend over £100 or dollars, you get yourself an amazing free tumbler, and if you spend over £150 or dollars, you'll get both of those items together and as well we're giving you the chance to win yes all you got to do is get social with us here at crafters tv i'll be reading your comments throughout the show whether you're on youtube facebook all you got to do is comment below and you've got a chance of winning and well Let's have a look at what you could be winning today. You've had a little sneak peek of it on Facebook. It's here for you today. You've got an amazing white stamping card, matte black cardstock, the craft cardstock, embossing folders, dies, so much there. And as you can see, that amazing price, it's worth over £100, over $150. All you got to do is comment in any way below and you could be a chance to win in. Now, it is our Craft Along and if you're brand new to Crafters TV, it's great to have you. Or if you're a long-time viewer like many of you are, it's great to see you back. Our Craft Along is your chance to join us along here today and join us as we craft along. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't no craft expert. No, no, no. I'm just going to about use a bit of taping. That's all I can about do. But we need someone who is amazing, an amazing craft expert, and one of our favourites here at Crafters TV. It's the wonderful Debbie Robinson. Good afternoon, good morning, and anywhere where you are in the world. Um, it's a pleasure to have your company. And with possibly one of the cutest ones we've done um, on Craft Along, which is the gorgeous wobblers. And I absolutely adore these. Oh, you can see I'm wobbling away already, Joe. Mm. Wibbly wobbly. Uh, wibbly wobbly uh, cards there that just is absolutely beautiful and I've kept it I've, I've kind of stripped it back a little bit today um, and stripped it back to something quite nice quite it looks lovely and it's a really nice little card as well nice gold fold and um, there is something missing off the shopping list that I will tell you about in a moment but what you've got are these beautiful I mean I adore the penguins now if you've got the whole set you don't have to use the penguins. You can choose whatever designs you want. I've gone with the penguins because I thought it matched the paper uh, that we've got on the show for you today. Um, however, you could choose. You could perhaps have three different characters on there. It's entirely up to you. This is your craft along. We'll do this step by step, stage by stage, colouring in because we've got some amazing uh, products on what we did yesterday, which they let me bring back today. So I'm really excited. Uh, but yes, it's going to be one of those real time crafting. We may even get another one in. George yes just saying we may get another one in there as well uh, but the wobblers if you haven't got them then never fear because here at crafters tv we always give you another option to get hold of them today so get yourselves all ready George will go through the shopping list with you in a minute I'll tell you that additional thing that you need uh, that for some reason got missed off the list but we're not to worry because we can kind of fudge around it but over to you, George. Yes, absolutely. Now, don't worry if you're looking at this going, well, I haven't got anything on this list. Because if you're watching on YouTube, save this show to your playlist. And if you do order these wobblers today, they'll be arriving with you very, very shortly. And you can come back and watch the show anytime and do it at your own pace. Especially if you're watching live as well, you can pause this and we can catch up. But we'll take it nice and slow. So here's what you're going to be needing today to help make that wonderful card. You're going to need a wobbler penguin die set. A 12 by 12 watercolour Christmas pad, a 12 by 12 pretty pastels textured card pad, clear sparkly overlay, gems and pearls. You're also going to need the A4 white stamping card, A5 construction acetate, Nina card, Spectrum Noir water reactive ink pad ocean, Spectrum Noir finesse alcohol ink pad noir black, Spectrum Noir Tri Blend pens are the following shades you're going to need are the ice grey blends and shades, the ice blue blender. That's easy to say, isn't it? The ice blue blend, blue turquoise blend, <laughs> the gold yellow blend, and the pink violet blend. Plus, you're also going to need your Gemini Junior or the larger, the scissors, paper trimmer guillotine, stamping platform, 
choice of glue or purpose tape, pen tacky glue and red liner tape. Like we said, don't worry if you haven't got any of that stuff because we'll give you the chance to buy that throughout the show today. So that could be yours and we'll inform you with that as well. Now don't forget as well, you're part of our family here at Crafters TV and it's always great to have you join us virtually in the studio. And today we're headed over to the United States of America with a wonderful Jenny. Good morning, Jenny. Is it good morning? Yes, it is morning. Yep. Good morning. So whereabouts in the yep, USA are you? 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Beautiful. So whereabouts in, in the USA are you, Jenny? I'm in Ohio. Very nice. And I can see you've got loads of the uh, Spectrum Noir pens behind you there. Loads of wonderful crafters oh, yeah. uh, companion goodies. How are you feeling? Excited about this craft along today? I am. I'm, I'm really excited because I haven't used these yet. I, I bought them when they came out, but I haven't used them. So I'm excited to give them a try. Perfect. Well, Jenny, it's wonderful to have you here with us virtually, and hopefully one day you'll be here in the studio, here in the UK. It's oh, wonderful. Oh, that would be fun. It wouldn't it just, oh, we come to Ohio. Maybe we should go to Ohio, Debra. I'd love that. <laughs> right, Jenny, we'll come back to you very, very shortly. See you soon, Jenny. Right, let's have a look at what we've got here. If you are wondering if you what you need for today, let me show you what we are working with. We're working with our wonderful Christmas wobblers, the Stamp and Die Clash. Now, there's 48 elements here, and there are some beautiful characters here in this set. An amazing price today, $39.99 or $69.95. And remember, that platinum price is incredible as well, getting you that extra 20% off. Now, as you can see as well, if you're Club Inspire, you're going to get some double points as well. As it is our uh, second anniversary, you get some double points as well. Let me take you through our wonderful characters that you're going to meet here. We've got our wonderful reindeer. Yes, we're starting with Ru Rudolph, shall we say. And here he is with all these little uh, stamps and the die and all those little sentiments on the stamp as well and the wonderful spring mechanism as well which we'll get to that a little bit later on then we've also got the wonderful frosty the snowman i love him look how cute he is our wonderful snowman there he is looking gorgeous then of course we've got our wonderful the big man himself father christmas santa is there as always and then we have got mrs claus i love this edition of mrs claus we very rarely get to see mrs claus what a perfect edition and remember they don't have to be used as wobblers i imagine how many different things you could use these for then we've got our wonderful little penguin there again a flurry of fun i'm sure it is oh he's, he's excited this one and as well we've got our little elf as well and last but not least the amazing little Robin that comes within the set. Beautiful little uh, wobblers there for you to be using today. And there's eight in this set. So what an amazing set. And at that price, these are brilliant to use. I don't know which one. Oh, I've got, I missed one out. I missed one out. I missed one. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, mister. I missed the gingerbread man. I missed him. I just saw him there looking at me, he was waving, he was going, please pick me up, George, please pick me up. And you can buy these individually as well. Let me remind you of that price. It is priced at £5.99 or $9.95 or any two for £10.50, $18. Now that platinum price, it's an amazing steal. If you buy the bundle, if you buy the entire bundle, you're going to be saving yourself in the UK and the EU 25% and if you're in the USA, 20%. Now, are you ready? Are you excited? Debbie, are you ready? Are you I ready, am, Debbie? I am indeed. Would you do a jig then? No. I am indeed already. Uh, so first things first, you need to get your guillotine. We're going to start off with the card uh, base and other items before we go into the stamping and the colouring. So get hold of your guillotine, either large or small. I'm using my large just because I'm going to work with a, a little bit of a, a bigger size card stock for, this, uh, for the first piece. And some of your white stamping card, because as you all know by now, or for those of you who've never joined us before, um, I do make all my own card blanks uh, using our white uh, stamping card. And you can see that that is exactly what this is. Now, this is altogether, I did say at the very beginning, there was something that they missed off the list which is our nesting dies now if you've got our nesting dies you'll need the circular ones if you don't we can get around it because you could join these two pieces up by cutting a square out if you wanted to cut a square out and just and, and we can we can kind of fudge that uh, but if you have got the nesting dies absolutely brilliant because uh, that's what we're going to do to connect the two pieces together uh, so that was just a little error on our part and I apologize because I don't know how I missed that off my list uh, but I did uh, right so we're going to score uh, sorry cut this uh, to eight inches by six inches so that's the 
first piece of cord that we're going to um, use. Do you know what? I think I'll get a little bit of longevity out of mine. So I'm going to turn it onto the portrait way. Uh, and I'm going to measure this up to the eight inch mark. Now there isn't normally on the board, on the smaller board and the large board, you've got up to um, you know the, the end of the grid. So you can't actually see if you've got that measured. But by eye, you should be able to see that famous Yorkshire term, George. By eye. By eye. You should be able to see that that's nice and straight. And you're just going to trim that down to eight inches and then we can measure this to six by turning it on the landscape way and going up to the six inch mark like so and now that is going to be our back base with one folded over but we just need to cut another piece of cardstock to six by two so if I move that along I'm going to pop that to six and I'm going to cut that to two so I'll show you that again, George, yep. just so you want to get the measurements right. So we've got, oh, excuse me, let me just pop that back up again. There we go. So the first piece, and I'm just going to move my waist bits out of the way, from your A4 sheet of stamping card, it is 8 inches by 6 inches, and then 2 inches by 6 inches. And we're going to just score this now so that you've got the basis of the card. Because uh, like I said, I'm keeping it re really nice and stripped back today. So um, a nice, but it's still a nice card. It really does look lovely when it's all put together, especially when you've got the fabulous uh, wobblers attached to them. So running along the eight inch mark. Yes. Um, so we're putting that onto our scoreboard. We're going to score this at two inches in. So when you bring this now, top to bottom, onto the two inches mark, get your scoring tool the right way around, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to fold that in on itself. So let's fold that in, or fold that back, should I say, sorry. There we go. And then this now will form the card itself. I Fold see. it nice and easy, nice and simple. So it's eight inches by six in inches, scored in at two and brought in on itself, and the six inches by two, and that's going to form your base of your card. So I'm going to leave that there just for a second. I'm going to move my scoreboard out of the way. And then we're going to cut um, all of our uh, background pieces and this is when you'll use your uh, choice of papers so this bit is entirely up to you George now I've yeah. chosen um, from the pastel uh, cardstock I've chosen a blue because we've got the watercolour Christmas watercolour sorry it's not a signature watercolour Christmas on the show 12 by 12 yeah. the few that are left I had Not to ask many. them very nicely to give me a few more, and that's what they've done for me. You can be choosing any papers that you want here, but I quite like the snowflakes. I think they're a really beautiful design. So, again, it's just down to you, this. If you've got other different papers you want to play with, then absolutely you can. But what we need to do now is create our um, decorative pieces and panels that are going to decorate the base of the card. Yeah. So that's the bit we're going to do next, George. Perfect. So much love for these uh, cards this morning and the wobblers. Wow. Uh, yeah, now a lot of people say these wobblers would be perfect for the penny sliders. And actually, someone suggested that crafters uh, companion should run Halloween wobblers. Oh, I think that's a good idea, actually. Um, and a lot of love for the gingerbread man. I'm sorry I forgot about him. So sorry about the gingerbread <laughs> man. But a lot of you looking forward to this craft along. Remember, I also forgot to mention, if you buy the Sherry Bundle, buying all the wobblers, you also get the set of uh, A5 acetate as well to in your collection. So Ooh. heavy weight, forgot to mention that as well. That comes within that bundle. Right, you're all geared up with your guillotine i am indeed so what we're going to do is we're going to cut ourselves a couple for the panels so i'm going to have a little matting layer on this side of the panel and one on here too so i'm going to start with this color first now if you've only got the uh, the 8x8 textured pad stock this is going yeah. to work for you as well it doesn't necessarily have to be 12 by 12 but um they were the ones that um, I asked the, the girls to pop on there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to score, uh, sorry, cut this uh, to six inches by one and three quarters. And because I am using my bigger pad, I thought I'd get the most out of it by chopping it in at one and three quarters first. So we're going to do this one and three quarters 
by six, which I know you're probably thinking, oh, normally you leave a quarter of an increment. Well, I do normally, George, yes. but I've wanted it to be a straight edge panel with only a little bit going down the side. I want to change it up a little bit. So that's going to fit on there. And obviously, this should now measure in, yep, at six for the other panel because it was from the 12 by 12 pad. And I'll just bring in the other panel so you can see that that's going to fit beautifully on that Perfect. end too as well. And that... <laughs> is all you need from there for the time being. We'll Love come it. back to this in a, uh, in a bit. Uh, but what we're going to do is cut the um, decorative panels, and I've gone with the lighter one on the outside and the darker one on the inside. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, George. I'm just going to have a little, little wet. You have a little wet. Very good. What so, it, sorry Jim? about that. Um, but we are going to now cut the panels in there as well. Now, if you think about how you've got your strips, yep. we know that this is one and three quarters by six. Now, I'm going to keep it at six still, but I'm going to one and a half. So, if you think about it, I'm just taking it down that quarter of an increment. Yep. But both myself and Craig and Jan and all the rest of the team, it's one of those... It looks really nice and pleasing on the eye, I think, a quarter of an increment um, yeah. difference. So I'm going to go in with one and a half inches. And again, because I'm using my larger paper pad, I am uh, using it um, to get the most out of it. So I've got loads left that yeah. I am not having to, like, you know, chop it in that way and do it that way by the six because you'd be wasting lots. So it's about thinking about how you get the most out of your cardstock. Um, and again, that's going to go up to number six. So we'll go to six. And of course, that now cuts your two panels in one fail swoop that yeah. will then fit on to the panels here. But we're not going to stick them down yet because we're going to soften those with a little bit of an, um, a, a little distressed edge. Yes. Uh, but they're going to sit onto the two panels just like so. But what I'm going to do is now just cut the background part. Yep. Yeah. And... You'll be surprised to hear, I'm going to actually cut this to six by six that fits perfectly. It's like you planned perfectly. it. Perfectly. I'm not even giving it an edge this time. I'm not giving yeah. it any matting and layering because this paper, oof, is gorgeous. It is lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'm going to cut this to six inches by six inches, which of course will fit perfectly into there. Yeah. as a full solid uh, feature there we go so you can see now and that's going to sit there and then these two are going to sit on the panels perfect I'm gonna get those on but no sticking down just yet nope. you can be sticking your base on so you can be popping that onto the edge because we're not going to do any distress in there but we are going to just do a little bit of distress in with um the ocean blue water reactive ink pad uh, so i want you to get that ready because we'll, we'll do a little bit of a softening of the edges of that so i'm going to leave everyone for a couple of minutes yeah be sticking your base on and you can leave that there and get that ready so you can be getting that ready and then we'll come back to that in a moment and get on with the rest absolutely loads of you getting in touch loads of you enjoying this uh this is yvonne spence a youtube this is the main reason i got the set the gingerbread man i'm obsessed with it my house is gingerbread central during christmas of course and um well this is one of my favorite people who've messaged in today mrs stationery and stuff on youtube she's got back in touch she gave me a great chuckle earlier it's actually her first time watching us today hi all today was my first time watching Crafters TV and can I say how friendly and lovely everyone is. Aww. Honestly, Mrs. Stationery and stuff, you gave me the best chuckle of my love. Uh, best look of life. So, so I tell you what, we'll Oh, good, oh perfect, lovely, smooth and saline. Right, now if you're looking at tri-blend pens, the brand new, these were launched last night with in our Colour Me Happy show. So I tell you what, let me remind you of these. These are absolutely fantastic. These are extension pack. Now, a lot of you asked this question last night what these are. These are an extension pack of our Tri Blend brush collection. In each pack, there's 24 pens, 72 colours altogether, and they are a family of colours. Now, what we mean by that is that there's different colours, and Debbie will show you more of this. These were launched last night, and they extend our incredible family of the originals, the OGs as we call them, and they're a great addition. They're giving you more shade. Now, 12 pens in there, adding on to those 12 colours from the original set and 12 brand new families. So the families are growing of colours. Debbie will demonstrate this perfectly for you because I do not explain that well because once you see it, you go, I get what you mean now, George. A lot of you asking the question last night going, do I need these? And when you saw it in action, you went, 
I know why I need these in my life now. These are the brilliant colours that you get in this. Now these are some brilliant colours, the brilliant shades. 24 pieces, but what you're actually getting is 72 different colours that you'll get with inside this set. $79.99, $119.95. And at that platinum price, it's a great deal. And now as well, if inks and things you'll think. We had it on the cartload on Thursday with Sarah and Ben, the three hour long cartload. It sold out, we got it back in last night, and we've got a few left today. And when I say a few, not many. It's our Spectrum Noir mystery bag. Perfect for any crafter who's into colouring and into inks. There's pens, there's inks, there's all the little additions. I'm going to show you quickly what's in here. It's £30, $40. Bear that in mind because what you get inside here is worth so much more. We start first with our craft mat in here, the Spectrum Noir craft mat. I'm going to rapid fire it. You have got the wonderful Chinese red quick dry ink. You've also got the classic pens, a six in there with the, both the chisel tip and the bullet nib. You've also got some tri-blends. Again, remember, a lot of you new to tri-blends. If they are, there's three in there for you to have a go in. But remember, there's three colours in each. That's nine different pens for you to use. The colour blend spectrum pencils. Again, more toys for you to play with. Art liners, again, six of these. These can be used for so many different things. Aqua misters, if you want to create those great, amazing backgrounds that Debbie loves creating, they're going to be perfect for you. Those inks as well, you know we talk about our pens, that they're refillable. Well, this is what they're for, but you can also use these inks in so many ways. Another Debbie special, the glitter pens. You saw them earlier today, how much fun they are and what they'll create for you. Illustrator pens, four of them in there, and also you've got some wonderful liquid media paper. Again, there's so much more in there than that price on screen today, and that could be all of yours, but I'm telling you now, this is limited stock. Maybe a perfect gift for yourself, gift for a family member, who knows? So many pens and choices for you. Now, let's carry on with our amazing craft along. Back to you, Debbie. How are we getting on? Right, so I've um, popped my base into the card and I've just left that there to dry for a second. I've got all my panels all cut, but what we want to do to connect the two together, so it's like a floating card, so you could do this with acetate as well, but um, I just want to create two circular parts, which are the middles where my little penguins are going to sit. Now, this was the bit that was missing off the shopping list, and a thousand apologies if you haven't got them. However, you can tweak this slightly, because we could, we could create um, like a square that sits in the middle, uh, rather than it being a circular one, or if you've got other nesting dies, so I can I'm a little bit, of, um, um, I, well, if you know me very well, you know my craft bag is full to the top and I like to carry things around with me. So nesting dies is one of those that I carry yeah. around with me just in case you need them. So you could be using your ovals, you could be using your circles, you could be using your other shapes if you've got some. Uh, but like I said, if you don't have any of the nesting dies, then you could cut yourself a square uh, by four by four. Yep. And I'll, I'll talk to you that about in a moment. If you've got the nesting dies, however, we're going to choose. Now, I've gone with two that are literally sit inside each other. So the two increments there, further down. So I'm going to cut the largest one onto some blue and the, the next one down onto the um, snowflake paper. But again, I've got a lot there and I don't want to waste that. So I'm just going to trim this down a size. You can take your scissors and do this little bit, George. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I just wanted to do was, again, get as much as I can out of my cardstock. Yeah, absolutely. Because, uh, not that I'm tight or anything like that, but I don't like waste. I don't no, like absolutely. waste. absolutely, I completely so agree. So I'm going to stick that onto my textured cardstock with some low tack tape, and we'll come to cut that in a moment. And I'll push that to one side. I'm gonna move my cardstock out of the way because I can use that again later on. Um, and then I'm going to choose, I'm gonna go down that side because I think it's a little bit darker there, but there's some gorgeous colorways in that paper pad that we have on the show. Um, I think we have a Twas, do we have a Twas the Night? We do we have, have some Twas the well. Night before yeah. Christmas, Sarah's signature collection on that one. We'll bring that a little bit later on in the show for you. Yeah, so you could be doing that as well, George. So, it's, you know, it's, a, a, it's the choices, the choices are there. And of course, if you don't have this particular paper pad, it's not to worry because you can use any uh, that you think would work with your Christmas wobblers. So I'm just going to pop that in now. So we're going to cut both of those pieces out and I can see that moving. So I'm going to hold it down with another piece of tape with it's been low tack tape let's bring in my platform so we're going to put both of those on and die cut them together 
and then we're going to use the normal combination for a thin metal die which is your plastic shim your magnetic shim and your other cutting plate and i'm going yeah. to run those through so let's just pop those through well while you're doing that so beth nub on facebook i know we'll get to the acetate shortly later on but she's asked what plate combination do you use for cutting the acetate my acetate didn't cut for me i used vellum for the wobbler mechanism so it was okay i used two cutting plates of course plastic shim metal shim and magnetic shim so if you were cutting uh, vellum, mm -hmm. ve not vellum, acetate, yeah. is that the one? So with acetate, you would pop, let me just put these off there for a second. You would put your uh, metal shim, so you've got your cu cutting plate there. I'm just going to bring this down for a second. So you've got your cutting plate, you'd pop your metal shim, then you would pop your acetate with your die facing onto the top of it. And then your platform of uh, your plastic shim, magnetic shim, and your other cutting plate. And make sure that the die is cutting into the metal. Now, if it is the heavyweight acetate, sometimes it needs two passes of the machine. Uh, but it should cut through on the one. Um, but yeah, that's that's the combination that you would Perfect. need to do that, George. So I Thank hope you. that helps the question and answer the Beth. question there. Yeah. Right, so when you take off now, we'll um, see that we've got two perfectly um, matte and layers that are going to sit inside each other. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this one. And like I said, if you haven't got any nesting dies, you could, and I'll um, give, give you some ideas of measurements of what you can create, but look how that just sits in there Perfect. perfectly. But again, what we're going to do is we're going to soften the edge of that paper by using the ocean blue. But if you, because this roughly, this that larger die is roughly around four and a half by four and a half. So what I would do if you haven't got the nesting die is cut a square piece of cardstock. In fact, you know what, George? Mm -hmm. Let's cut that out and show you what I mean. While yeah. it's a craft along and we've got time let's do it let's do it so take one of your pieces of cardstock yep cut one to four and a half and the outer one and the dark uh, so you've not your darker color your plain color so cut that to four and a half by four and a half bring back in your other sheet so we'll go in with this one and this one if we're going to do this oh i might need to go into my bigger um my bigger guillotine let's see if i can just trim that down slightly have I gone wrong way? Let's see if we've done it. Yeah, there we go. So we could go in, because we've cut the, the base blue at four yep. and a half, we're going to drop it down to four and a quarter. So we can do four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And what that does now, if you haven't got a nesting die, what that leaves you with now is, and I'll just move all my extra bits out of the way because I'm getting loads of paper there. So much paper. Uh, but you've got yourself a nice little nesting die for you yeah. to sit into that centre. Rather than a circular one and you don't have it, you can have those two connected it instead. So there is ways and means around it if you haven't got the uh, nesting dies. However, if you have, have fun and have a little play uh, because they are, honestly, they are lovely. But what we're going to do is bring him back in the patterned paper and I'll move all my panels out of the way. We're going to bring in our ocean blue water reactive ink pad because that matches this one. Now, if you have got different coloured cardstock, obviously, if you've got the Trosby right before Christmas, blue isn't going to work very well yeah. with those patterned papers. So choose your, um, choose your colour way that match um, your paper and then uh, you're going to take a, an ink dauber or an ink applicator as a bispectrum roll we do circular ones we do square ones we do sponge latex and we also do little finger ones as well um, and I'm just going to pop a little bit of the ink onto my uh, glass mat to act as a palette and I'm going to pick uh, as much as I can up of the ink from that glass mat load it onto the brush and then I'm just going to go around there. Now, again, depending on the look that you want, if you want a softer look, uh, you can um, not put as much ink on. I put quite a bit down there. So you can uh, soften that look even more by just uh, adding a little bit. And if you were doing that, I would go in that, you know, little light dabs into your ink pad um, and bring that around. Yeah. And it just softens it. And you can see the difference, what it makes to the cardstock and the papers. It just lifts it. It gives it a little bit of a soft um, edge, but it just gives it a nice little lift to the edge of your card and your paper. 
And it really does a nice little way of, um, of you know, of, of just doing that. Absolutely. Uh, say hello to you, a few of you. Baroness uh, Agro. Baroness Agro, some great names today. Baroness Agro on YouTube. These are so tempting to talk about the wobblers, absolutely. And the wonderful Cathy on Facebook. George, stop teasing me with the pens. I can't get them this month. But remember, uh, remember, Cathy, the free gifts that you'll get if you do. I'm just saying. And um, Deborah Bamforth on Facebook. Hi, Derby, George and everyone watching while hubby driving. Well, where are you driving to? Can't get, I want to know where you are. I'm nosy. Tell me where you are. And Beth has said on Facebook, <laughs> thank you, Debbie, for asking, answering the question about the acetate and the shims and everything. It's really helped her out. So thank you for that one. Oh, uh, remember, you've got any more questions about this or any of the crafting uh, problems that you may have or you know, life problems, I don't know, get in touch with, you know, we'll find out, we'll find an answer for you. Uh, so, I love this ink, like that blue is complimenting it so well, It really well, isn't does, it? and you can see the difference between the plane to there, and it's that lovely, it just gives it a nice little frame, and it just softens the edge of the uh, cut. And I do really, I mean, it's something I do a lot of normally, uh, but just of late, I've, I've kind of forgotten about it. So I thought, you know what, let's bring it back in because it really does um, add a little bit of a difference, just inking around the edges. So I'm going to just take a little bit more. Like I said, there's two ways. Pop a little bit onto your mat, and it is only a little bit. Load it up onto your uh, applicator so it's all on your uh, applicator bit, and then just simply go around the edges. And you can take it into the corner a little bit to really give a nice little soft, almost like um, drawing you in kind of uh, effect. So again, just going all the way around and just taking that edge off there. Perfect. Oh, yeah, I know, it's lovely to do things so like this. Simple. Sometimes we forget about these. Something so simple but so dramatic uh, and really does make a difference. And it's entirely up to you how much you want to go on with there. But you can see how it's framed it and softened it. And again, like I said, if you want to build a little bit up into the corners, what that does is just draw your eye into that lovely pattern. And again... Yeah. Just really, really nice. I, I, lo I love this technique. It's a great technique. And loads of you getting in touch. Uh, Yvonne on YouTube. Uh, CCTV has helped me get out of my comfort zone. I'm now using my spectrum uh, markers. I shock myself when I see what I've completed. I learn so much from each show. That's what we want to do. We don't want to see, you know, you buy these amazing products and they are amazing. But we want to give you all the skills and the techniques to help you create something so unique and so individual. Exactly like this card. I love it already. I think that blue is so good. How vibrant really is that ink on the edge? Really lovely, And how it makes it pop. Yeah. Now, there's a couple of choices how you stick this on. You could use all-purpose glue. Look at that beautiful snowflake. You could use the all-purpose glue if you wanted to pop all-purpose glue on. I'm going to lift it. I'm going to give the penguins a little lift yeah. um, on their base. So I'm going to use some foam pads. So I'm mixing it up a little bit. You could use... Uh, 3D Kalal glue, George. Chunky glue. Chunky glue, that's the one. Uh, we can use that as well. Uh, but I thought this would be nice, just giving it a little bit of extra dimension. The one that I did originally, I kept flat, but um, it's the choice. And it's just, I suppose, the mood that you're in. <laughs> when sometimes I like to change things up. And the things that I have originally with the ideas, um, I sometimes do. I have a little change around. Yeah. There we go. So let's just pop that onto there. Debbie, can you just remind us what ink pads you use on that corner? Yes. Someone's just asking there. Watching with subtitles on Facebook. Have you ever watched it with subtitles? Oh, yeah. So this, yeah, I have Ocean Blue Water Reactive uh, Ink Pad. Perfect. Uh, so that's that one. Thank you. Um, and then I'm going to pop my panels on. Now, I am keeping these uh, flat, George. Yep. So I'm going to pop some all-purpose glue. Uh, let's see if I've, yeah, there we go, get that flowing. Um, and when you're popping it on a little top tip, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I know sometimes when I, when I, especially when I first started using glue, I used to put way too much on. Uh, and it'd be seeping out all ends, yeah. <laughs> literally. Um, and then I'd have a job trying to get it all up. I mean, the lovely thing about all-purpose glue is, is if you do, you just rub it together and it comes off in your fingers. But it also gives you the wiggle time to get that into place and that's my first panel and then I'm going to bring this one in now this is the one that's got three pieces to it because it's got the white strip that's going to fit on the car uh, yeah. base so we're going to pop that one on first so let's get this one on first there we go so yeah just uh, just be careful when you're popping your glue on don't load too much on um, because that's the last thing you want to do yeah. but uh, if you do just quickly rub it while it's still wet and it'll come off for you get that into position and then lastly i'm going to pop on my oh i'm covering my little deer up um that's the beauty of that paper pad 
Be it's absolutely, absolutely so much in it. Yeah. Lovely. And then again, I'm just going to pop that down. And that gives it just a nice little finish. And sometimes, like I said, it doesn't necessarily... You know, like we, we do a lot of where we have the matte and layers yeah. on all four sides. I felt I just wanted to do it a little bit different today. So I've got my base. Well, my penguins are going to sit. I've got my two strips. I've now got my... Um, base as well so what i'm going to do with this one is the one that hasn't got the white is going to sit onto this flap yeah so we're going to open it up i'm going to pop his glue on there we go and then stick that on and again that just fits really nicely from the top to the bottom it's just the white strips at the side or the white stripes at the side so pop that in there and then literally that will sit there this one is going to sit at this very end. Now, yep. this part, I would, I personally would pop this together because this will create your card base and then we can have the fun yep. doing all the colouring with, um, with the wobblers. But that's how we're going to put his base together. So for this one, I personally would be using a red liner tape. Yep. And I'm just going to put some just down either side of this. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pop a little bit just onto there. And um, 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 scissors, scissors, Debbie, where are you? Scissors. <laughs> oh, there they are. Now, you're probably going to think, why are you putting it into the middle? Because you're probably thinking, that is going to look ghastly on the other side. However, it's not. Because, you know, with the nesting dies, we're going to use one of them again. Because what we're going to do is we're going to strengthen the middle. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. So just to, don't think, well, she's lost the plot. What's she doing? Leave this strip on. <laughs> what you're going to do is you are going to... Oh, poke it poke it Where are you, poke it I love how oh, you talk here. to it. They just jump out. What you don't yeah, see is when Debbie I know, talks, it's like they, they jump almost, out. <laughs> exactly. So I'm going to leave the middle one on for the time being. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stick this. Now, if you, if you think this is a little bit tricky... Um, all I would do is hold this to the very end, so the base of there, so you can see it's flat on, on the edge there. Let me just make sure I've got that right. Yep, there we go. So I'll pop that there. And then holding that down and that into place, into situ. Is that the right word, George? Yes, situ. Yeah? I'm going to make sure that this now sits in the centre. So that's going to sit into the centre. But cardstock... Can you see now? Yes. I want to strengthen this middle and I want it to be as strong as because we all know that uh, textured cardstock isn't incredibly strong. It's like yeah. 180 GSM. So it's not, long, it's, not, it's not a construction card. It's more of a paper. So what I'm going to do is, and we'll just bring back in, if I remember where I put it, George, the largest of the die that's going to sit now and be cut out into some white stamping card. So if you've got some more white stamping card, which I have here to the side of me, and I'll cut this down. Now remember, if you were doing that square, uh, you could do exactly the same thing. You would cut yourself a square of four and a half inches by four and a half inches to um, mat and make that stronger. So what you would do there is, if, you don't, if you're not using one of the nesting dies, is you would put that on into its place, but again, you want to strengthen the back. Yeah. So you're thinking of the outer square one to cover it up and make it nice and neat, you would make that four and a half inch square as well. So that's if you haven't got the nesting dies. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just run this one through. Yeah. And let me just transfer my plates to my little Gemini Junior one for this one. Perfect. While you're doing that, let's leave some of your lovely comments out. Dawn on YouTube, George, life problem. Oh, here we are. Let's see what I can do for you. I miss Crafters TV show chats because I have to work to support my Crafters, compassion, crafters Companion addiction. I can watch back, but it's not the same because I miss my crafty friends. Listen, we've all got to do it, Dawn. Keep strong. And remember, we're always here for you whenever you come back. Uh, and you're on Facebook. <laughs> I love this method. I really try inking the edge. It just makes it look so finished. I just never think about it while I'm making my cards. And Linda, hi, everyone. I'm watching and crafting. Don't have the wobblers, but still love to watch for Debbie for the card techniques and the inspirations. Remember, if you do want the wobblers, they are on sale today for that amazing set today. They are perfectly sailed today. That incredible deal. Plus, you get that A5 acetate extra strong as well in that incredible deal. $39.99. $69.95. Right, Debbie, how are we doing with the next part of our demo? Right, so I've uh, die cut my uh, nesting die, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the red liner tape just on here. So let's just take this off for a second. 
There we go. And I'm going to now use, as well as the red liner tape, I am going to use some of um, the wet glue. Now, I've just seen a little faux pas that I forgot to do, which was clean my mat. So yeah. I've got a little bit of uh, blue ink that was on my mat that I use as a palette onto my card because oh. Debbie forgot to clean. So if you're doing this at home, just make sure you have cleaned your mats before you do this, because otherwise you're going to end up with a uh, Salabalogi inky white background and then all i'm going to do is literally sit that onto the top now using the die as um, an indication to where you want to pop that pop that onto there give that a nice little burnish and what that's done now let me just uh, rub off me um tape because i've got a little bit of tape just on there there we go we should use a rubber on that just use a little yeah just yeah just use it with a, a little eraser there yeah uh, and then now i've got a really strong Perfect. strong base yeah, because um, literally that is now created the card base so it's something a little bit different something um, I, I think nice, nice and easy and achievable for anybody yeah we've got our card base all ready to then start playing with the little wobblers Perfect. So we're going to get as wobblers next. That's going to be the next stage where we're going to do some stamping. We're going to do some colouring. We're going to construct our little wibbly wobbly base because <laughs> this is what this mechanical part is or mechanism is. Woohoo! And then we'll uh, get on and compose it all together. And I did say to you, I think we're going to get a couple of a couple of different colours from today. I think we are as well. We'll be having a look at that a little bit later on. Let you gave you a chance to catch up. Remember, we've got some amazing deals for you as well today. We've got this amazing white stamping card. It's 60 sheets in each pack. You're getting three packs today at an incredible price. 300 GSM. It works out £19.98, $29.98. And what that means is that you're buying two, you're getting one for free in the white stamping card. Amazing. Used so many times for you here at Crafters TV. Now you've seen Debbie using the glue today. have got an amazing deal on your glues for you as well. It's the Kalal Glue Collection, the four pack, what you're getting within your set. It's a great set. And what it works out here today is that you're buying the three of them and you're getting one for free on the glues. Okay, so you're getting, you're buying for three of them and this one here is getting the one for free so you get the two clouds you get the cloud tacky glue and the transparent glue sorry tacky glue there and the transparent glue there that's what you're getting today £12.97, $20.93. And as well, we've also got the watercolour Christmas 6x6 paper pad with 36 sheets of paper. £9.99, $12.95. Let's have a look. That's inside these amazing uh, sheets of paper that you can see inside here today. The lovely fox, everything that you see, the foxes, the uh, trees, the snowman, snowflakes, double sided, remember as well. Maybe worth stocking a few of these into your basket today at that price because you give it one using both sides of the six by six pad there. That's yours today at uh, that platinum price, £7.99, $10.36. Right, we'll give you some chance to catch up and we'll see you on the other side of this. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's home for all things craft. We shine the light on new innovative. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon.
Welcome back to Craft Long here on Crafters TV. Sorry about the few technical difficulties there. A few gremlins in the system today. And loads of you getting in touch today. Rebecca Arnold on Facebook. I love this. Thank you for doing such a simple design today, Debbie. It is simple, but like we always keep saying, simple but effective. Carol Guy, very clever, Debbie. Thanks for the idea. So clever. She won me today in uh, Play Crafts, right? And uh, Casey Ward on YouTube. Happy, happy anniversary to a wonderful company. I wish you many more fabulous years. Now, thank you so much for your comments. Remember, keep commenting because you've got the chance today to win those amazing goodies here from Crafters Companion. Over, oh, I want to say £100 in the uh, UK and over $150 American side. So much stuff for you to win. And as well, all you got to do is comment and then you could be winning. It's simple as that every show until the 2nd of September and you could be winning. And remember, spend over £50 or dollars, you're going to get yourself this. This amazing Crafters Companion notepad, that could be yours. You spend over $100, £100, you get yourself this, the Crafters T. TV's tumbler, and if you spend over £150, dollars, you're going to get both of those items today. How amazing would that be? Treat yourselves, that's what I say, treat yourselves on that one. Now, I'll tell you what as well, because this is nearly going to sell out today, I promise you, it's going to sell out. It came back in on the cartload, the Spectrum Noir Mystery Bag, and on the cartload, it, knew, it sold out, right? Last night, for Colour Me Happy, we got it back in stock. Yay! However, it's now warning towards the end of its line because it's going to sell out again. Let's take a look inside here. It's £30, $40. You're going to get a lot more than that in your bag here today. Let's have a look what you get inside. You get yourself you get the craft mat here. Again, perfect for you to use. Perfect for so many different things. It's an all-purpose mat. It's non-slip and heat resistant. And it's a practical, protective work surface for all your crafting needs colouring and multimedia work. Very good as well. You've also got your tri-blend pens. Again, we love a tri-blend here and this will be a perfect introduction. Think about this for yourself. Treat yourself to this. Three amazing uh, families of colours. You've got the dark red blend, the brown grey blend and the ice grey blend. Ice grey, easy for me to say. The ice grey blend in there. That's for you as well. Then you've also got the art line. Six different pens in there ranging in different nibs. Different millimetres of nibs. All the way to the brush style. That wonderful Japanese brush style nib that we absolutely adore here within Spectrum Noir and then you've got the aqua misters as well these fine spray misters they allow you to create so many different items uh, things you know that unique and interesting way that Debbie does that with her inks you put those inks on there with the water reactive inks a few little sprays and you're creating something so unique and special then you've also got the color blend pencils as well we love these so unique and working so well that extra bit of detail they're premium and that wax base just a perfect for everything it would be art illustration sketching and design and then as well you've got the classic pens as well six pens in here bullet nibs and chisel nibs as well that fine nib allowing for those great colors then you've also got the chinese red ink as well you've also got this beautiful little top up of the ink as well in purples then you've got four illustrator pens in here from the spectrum noir collection you've got that beautiful colors you've got the poppy the canary you've got the denim and you've also got the deep pink in there sparkle pens again a great addition gold sterling and that black sparkle I love it in there and last but not least liquid media paper ultra smooth paper and it's perfect for that inking and painting that is everything that is inside that mystery bag and that could be yours today that is absolutely brilliant and that price i think it's going to sell out and if you are a platinum remember remember club inspire allows you to get more off your money 20 percent off and if it's your first time order for more stuff now listen We've got a wonderful Jenny over in Ohio. She's busy beavering away, working her little socks off on this card. I know a lot of you are at home. Debbie, what is next for us? I know it's the fun part now. It with is. A little it's, penguin. The, it's the fun bit. So this is now down to you. I'm, I've chosen penguins, but obviously if you've got the whole collection, um, how you can interpret what you want to pop on there, um, you, it's your choice. This is your craft along, so it's entirely up to you. But I'm going with the penguins, and I'm going not with one, not with two, but with three cute little penguins yeah. that are going to sit around my circular design. Uh, so what you have on here, George, is you have your stamp sets. You do have, and I love this, Wobble I Do Without You. <laughs> Wobble I Do Without I love it. <laughs> Wobble I Do Without You. Wobble I Do Without You. And Hope Your Day is a flurry, flurry of fun. <laughs> Not while I'm taking a drink of water, Debbie. <laughs> Let's spot it everywhere, then. So the cute little stamp... The lovely die cut so you don't have to do any fussy cutting and then the mechanic mechanic 
Mechanism, mechanism. Yes, there be ten points. Mecha. Someone told me mecha. Bingo, bingo, bingo. Mechanism that you can use as well, and you can do these with. <laughs> you can do these with your uh, white stamping card to create a nice um, spring as well, a wobble. Uh, but acetate too, because acetate comes with it. And we will do it in acetate as well. So I'll show you the difference between the two um, so that you can get it. And again, it's down to you then, if you know what you feel works best for you. Yeah. But I've chosen some Nina cardstock because we are going to be using the brand new Tri-Blend Brush Extended Collection along with the originals, which are, oops, I forgot where I've put them. Oops, which are over here, the originals as well. So we're going to have a little play with both of those yes. um, and show you the versatility and why, why you need the extended collection. And I promise you, I'm going to show you something to do on here to show you why you need that extended bit. Okay. So first things first though, we're going to do the die cutting and the stamping before we get to that little uh, fun part of the colouring. So for this now, I've chosen some Nina cardstock. Um, now we have it on the website. We, do we have it in the show as well? Do we have the Nina cardstock? It's not in the show, but it is Ooh, in the stock. the little devils, the little devils. I said to them, put me Nina cardstock on because it's best one for tri blends and alcohol markers. But never mind. Head over to the website, shop the show and all the rest, and then go on there and search Nina cardstock and it'll bring it up for you. Uh, because it's the premium quality paper or cardstock again uh, for you to use alcohol markers and you will get the best results with your alcohol markers on that. So first things first, I am going to cut to myself because this is the way that I prefer to do it and it makes life a little bit easier for me to die cut then stamp into it. If you prefer the stamping in method and then the die cut, that's entirely up to you. But my method is I like to die cut and then stamp. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut myself a strip. Now I know the power of the Gemini is fairly strong. So I know and I reckon I could get a couple of my penguins in one go. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll do that, George. I think we'll go yeah. there. I think we'll go there. So let's pop on. Is it a gaggle of penguins? A what are penguins? A gaggle of penguins. Gaggle. You get a gaggle of swans or a, what is it called? Like a group of penguins. Uh, like, yeah, oh, I don't a, know. A pack of dogs. Uh, um, uh, I, I did a quiz and it was like a giraffes, like a, a stand of giraffes or something. A what of giraffes? A stand, a colony of penguins, a raft of oh. So if a, a group of penguins, if they're on land, it's a waddle. And if they're in water, it's a raft. Well, See? I never knew that. We, we always say every day is a school day. Yeah. And it truly is. So I'm <laughs> going to take off my low tack tape. Do you know what? I probably could have cut three out of this, George. I've yeah. just thought about it now and afterwards. I've and then you'd three. have a gaggle of penguins. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? I should have done that, shouldn't I? Yeah. So I've got me... I should have done... Oh, definitely. I've got me two. I'll just go back in with me one now and I'll pop it onto that piece. Um, and then, again... You could, you could cut as many as you wanted with this. You could go really fun with these cards. That's what I love about them. The wobble yeah. factor is absolutely brilliant in itself. But the fact that they're so cute, these images, so many ways you can use them as well, because you could actually stamp loads of images and colour them in without die cutting. So you could build up a little scene if you wanted to uh, and use them uh, uh, outside of the wobble factor. That didn't sound right, did it, George? Next. You know what I mean? Next outside outside, outside of the wobbling. We've got uh, the craft factor, we could have the wobble <laughs> factor. Uh, yeah, we could actually, yeah, wobbly, wobble wobbly. factor, craft factor, absolutely. And we just stand there with jelly. <laughs> and we wobble it and see who can wobble the jelly the most. So now I've got my three silhouettes of my uh, lovely dancing penguins, because these are the cutest penguins I ever did see, George. They have are so seen, cute. Hang on, you said that, but you've never seen a non-cute penguin, have you? A non-cute penguin? A non-cute penguin. Oh, a non <laughs> I wish I could hear things better over this <laughs> side of the studio. Oh dear. I'm sorry, George. I didn't, I didn't quite catch what you said. Oh dear. Uh, a non-cute, a non-cute. 
<laughs> I just didn't hear it properly. Oh, I think I need to wash my lug holes oh out. I'm telling you. There's oh, some ear candles me. in the green room. Have you seen them? A what is? Some ear candles in the green room. What's an ear candle? Well, you, you, let, you put your head down on the side like that, and then you put an ear candle in, and then you set it on fire. Pardon? And the wax, like, <laughs> gets sucked out your ear. No. We'll try it in the break. No, we will not. We will. <laughs> no, yeah. we will not. <laughs> uh, no. No. Right, now I'm going to pop my, and I've, I've brought out now my stamping mat, my stamping platform with my little cute legs. This is up to you. We've got 4x4, four 6x6, four, six six, 8x8 eight yep. eight that's uh, available. We've got rocker blocks. Your choice of how you, uh, how you stamp this. Now, what you do need, though, with alcohol-proof markers are alcohol-proof ink pads. Yep. Um, so there's Noir Black, there's Flagstone, there's... Uh, rustic brown and there's pebble well um, remembered <laughs> and all you need to do is make sure that you choose the right one for the alcohol colors which little indication on that uh, ink pad where we've got our pen and what we're going to do now is we are going to stamp in our image into each one of these three um cute penguins penguins, cute penguins. <laughs> you've got that amazing deal there on your finesse alco proof ink pads that four piece collection like debbie said you've got the noir black rustic brown pebble and flagstone at that price today you're saving yourself 25 percent. so basically it works out you're buying three and you're getting one for free now what we're going to do george is we're going to line up our stamp inside there now this is why i always find this part a bit easier so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to literally stand over this and i'm just going to have to put my head over the way because i want to make sure I get my image in there. Yep. Um, and I'm just before I commit, just lining that up. That looks about right. There we go. So I'll pop that down, and literally, I've got my little cute image there all popped in. And we're going to repeat that, George, for the other two as well. So we're going to go into there. Thank you very much, Tracy. By the way. I know she just brought I a know, cup of God tea, a cup of coffee in for his body. Yeah, bless a little heart. So I'm going to just bring this in, and I'm going to go over again. And I'm just going to line it up. And before I commit, I just make sure, and I, I'm, I am a little bit short, and this counter's really high. So I'm going to make sure that I've gone in, give it a nice press down, and lift back off. And again, my second little cute character so there. So he's got, they are so cute. And you're getting that constant stamp every single time. You're not you getting are, any yeah. It's every single time. It's the same quality. Yeah, exactly. So you give it some nice little light taps. I never go in really heavy with it. I just a little, can you hear? Yeah. Little light taps across the stamp. Uh, and again, I'm going to go in. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to position it before I commit to pushing. So, and, and another thing as well, having the right equipment, so this is a, so, uh, I say soft, it's got, it's got some give. Yes. So that when you're stamping and you're pushing in, it, put, it cushions that uh, stamp and it literally gives you the best um, quality yeah. stamp every single time. So having something like the stamping mat with the stamping platform really does make sure that you get those lovely coverages every single time. So I'm going to line that up before I commit push that down so what that's doing is cushioning the stamp yep and pushing it in and lifting that off I've got my other little cute penguin Absolutely. so now i've got my three gorgeous cute little penguins and and that's why i prefer to do it this way i find it easier that i can then cut stamp and now I'm ready to colour. Absolutely. Uh, amazing deals today on your stamping plates as well. You're getting the 4x4 four four stamping plate, the 6x6 six six stamping plate, and the stamping mat for an amazing price. You can see it down the screen. £20.98, $27.90, and that amazing platinum price as well. Works out, you're getting the 4x4 four four, uh, stamping plate platform, which is what Debbie just used, absolutely free. So an amazing deal to add into your basket today. Right, so... We'll have to do a bit of colouring now, won't we? Yeah. We're going to have to do a little bit of colouring. So what we're going to do is, and now, oh, shall I, shall I show you? Show the technique show you the with the pens. Yeah, let's, yes. do, let's do that bit. I'm just going to move my penguins out of the way for a second. And I'm just going to bring back in. Oh, George, look at me. I'm such a mucky pup. Well, I didn't I, want to say anything. I must not have cleaned. The, I thought I cleaned my mat. I've still Are got some blue Is it the other Debbie? Is it Debbie uh, Fisher today instead of Debbie Robinson? Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe. Let's take that mask out. What does Scooby-Doo used to say when the, the mask and everything? And the, got away with it too if it weren't for your meddling kids. I oh, don't know what I'm kids. talking. Pesky uh, kids. Pesky kids. That's Thank what you. they used to say, didn't they? Pesky kids. Right, I'm going to talk about, <laughs> let me bring in my pens because I want to yes. show you 
Um, in fact, let me move some of the bits out of the way, George, because uh, I'm getting a bit cluttered and um, I'm trying to stay really clean and tidy. Well, <laughs> I, a lot of people are saying how clean and tidy you are doing. And Baroness Agra on YouTube has said you've got to try the ear candles, Debbie. They release your pressures and make you feel calm and collected. Oh, I might try it then, George. I might try it, but um, I have got a bit of prep to do in between shows, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. <laughs> we might try, we might try, we might try. Uh, right, so we're going to talk about the originals. Yeah. versus the extended so the original tri blends very much similar to when we brought out tri blend pens the original that's the black casing we brought those out first and then we brought out the other colors that complemented and they worked so that you've got loads of colors there so with the tri blend brush pens these were the original ones and you can see them all down here 24 pens but 72 colors because let's not forget this technology if you've never seen it before is a three in so one color family with a three blend in that one pen from a light tone to a medium tone to a dark tone and beautiful flexible Japanese nibs. So they were the originals. Now the extended collection, which came out yesterday, are going to work alongside that original pack. And the reason being is there is 12 extended colors in this new pack that will match the 12 pens that are in here and then the other 12 are new colour families that are completely different to the originals. So what you've got there, George, is yep. 12 pens that have a larger colour family and then 24 pens, if you've got the both, 24 pens, look at me talking my hands again, 24 pens that are all going to work together because they are all complement each other and they're, 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 they're the other colours to make up the beautiful collection that you have when you get both yeah. and the reason i'm going to show you this bit is because i want to show you and i'm going to pick out i've got ice blue let me get me let me find me let me find in the original box so i'm going to use true uh no we'll do the bright pink so i'm going to get bright pink out of this one bright pink out of the originals and just bear with me while i grab no all worries the lovely a oh, lot of love for the penguins and the wobblers today. A lot of love for people adding the penguins. Will on YouTube, super cute, love penguins. Debris on YouTube, love these and just put the penguins in my cart. So much love for the penguins. And Donna on Facebook, went, hi, Jordan, Debbie. Uh-oh, and my third order from the anniversary shows. Whoops, well, listen, <laughs> Donna, there is more anniversary shows all the way up until the 2nd of September on Thursday. I'll be back on Thursday with our final show of our anniversary week. Uh, so much happening in our anniversary shows. And like we said, we've got a week of anniversary shows, our second anniversary on Crafters TV, and we're giving over away a quarter of a million goodies throughout this show. Uh, next seven days and remember there's more prizes to be given away in today's show all you've got to do is comment below on youtube and facebook and you've got the chance to win those goodies right debbie have we got our original and our newbies <laughs> Only thing is, my full set from last night is now missing a pen, so I don't know how that's happened. Because uh, there's only been here, us here, haven't there, George? Yes. Uh, so I've changed my colours up. So I've taken from the original set, I've taken the blue turquoise blend. And then I've taken, because in the extended collection, is the blue turquoise extend. And I'm just going to lay these side by side so you can see what I mean by these. So when I bring these in, and I'll turn this around so you can see this. This is the family of the blue turquoise family. Original, extend, and it tells you here on, on the side of the brush as well that this is a blue turquoise extend. So the colorways come with the color film. They also have a little um, unique um, um, number. Number, I yeah. shall say. Yes, thank you. With the shades. So BT2, BT5, BT9 is the original. The extended one is BT3, BT7 and BT8. So when you look at this now, you've got two, three, five, seven, eight, and nine of that same family. And that is what I love about these. So with the original, we'll pop the originals down. So we've got number two. And again, you've got that beautiful brush knit, flexible brush jap. Ooh, I'll we'll start again. Flexible Japanese nib brush. Very good. There we go. We should, we, should make, we should go professional meeting one should. day. We should do one day, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop down the colour, the lightest shade, which is the number two, which is from the original pen. Okay, so I'm popping quite a bit down there. 
Uh, then we've got the number five. So I'm going to go in with the number five. This is from the original print. So I've got two. I'm going to leave a gap. I'm going to go in. I mean, God, Gordon Look, Benny, look at this. That's, I mean, these yeah, colours yeah. are beautiful. And let me just tell you, these do work independently on their own as well as Absolutely. all together. So then I'm going in with number nine. I'm going to leave a couple of gaps up here. So this is the darkest of the blend. So there you go. So you can see from that original pen, we've got the blue turquoise family from the light, medium to the dark. Okay? So that is the original pen. I'm then coming in with the extended collection from the new extended collection that was la launched last night. And this one's now got number three, number seven, number eight. So we're going to go in. We know that's number two. So we're going to go in with number three. So you can see that it's a completely different shade there. Yeah. That one was number five. So we know, and I'll just pop down quite a nice bit on there so you can see the difference between them. The number seven and the number eight, we're going to pop in between here because this is number five, that's number nine. These are the in-betweens. So we're going to go in with number seven. I mean, look at the gorgeous it's colours. So the George, coverage the colours is brilliant. are just beautiful. And then lastly, the number eight, because we know that's between seven and nine. And pop that down onto the top. There you go. And now when the alcohol dries, what you'll see is you get, from two pens, six colours of that family that is then enabling you to add more to it than the initial three that we had, which are those three. Because you've got the extenders that go in between, the in-betweeners again, <laughs> the in-betweeners analogy, uh, which creates that lovely wealth of colour to get more dimension, more scope, more colouring, more realistic effects as well when yeah. you add the extend into that collection. But let's not forget, in the originals, there are 12 pens there that then work on their own with their own colour families. And in the extended collection, there are 12 new ones. Yep. There's no duplicates in either set. Absolutely fabulous. And that's the reason why you need the extended collection to build in, literally, a full wealth of colours to be working with. Absolutely. That, I hope that explains it. It's so much, it won't, I can explain it all day long, but that demonstration shows you every single time why you need the extender pack in your life. Like Debbie said, there's 24 different colour families within that, 12 which complement our originals, and 12 brand new ones as well. Uh, Mary Lee on YouTube, the new extended collection of the Brush Tri Blend Brush Pen, <laughs> Brush Tri Blend Brush Pens is sensational. They're on my way, on my way to my house. Hooray! And Cindy A. Lewis on YouTube, Debbie, I just love you. You are so inspiring and Aww. cheerful. Isn't that Aww, nice? Oh, that's nice. Lovely. Well, thank you. Like we sort of say, it's a big crafting family. Right, we have got our wonderful Jenny over in Ohio in the United States of America, crafting along with us. Jenny, how are you doing? Are you getting all right? Everything sorted? Oh, yeah. This is a lot of fun. Perfect. Right, where are you at? Let's see what you've got so far. Ooh. Ooh nice. Very nice. So I what... My... Oh, oh, I like the choice. Yes. That's gorgeous. Very nice. So tell us, Jenny, what paper, what have you used on your card? What, ink, what um, paper pad have you used? I used the watercolor Christmas. I just chose a different um, pattern and then I decided when I saw the snowman that I wanted to put that on the inside. Yeah. I think that looks absolutely stunning. I'm gonna look, your room, your craft room is so organized. I love nosing into people's craft rooms. I know Debbie does as well. That is a stunningly organized craft room. Doing amazingly so far. Jenny, you are brilliant and absolutely smashing it. It's great to have you here. We'll be catching up with you in a little bit, Jenny, all right? So, remember, Great. thank you, so much so happening in this show as well. Right, we have done so much happening. We've done our card base, we've got it all sorted, and now we're going to get to the colouring. Remember, it's all part of our, wo our wobbler set here, these beautiful wobblers. Shall I take you through the family of wobblers very quickly for you? Remind you of the eight wobblers that you get in this set. Beautiful set of wobblers, a beautiful family of Christmas. If Christmas was a family, this would, would be it, because we are family. You've got the wonderful gingerbread. Each... Um, each wobbler has its own mechanism and its own stamp uh, sentiments that come with it as well. You get the stamp, as you can see there, and you get all the sentiments that go with it. You've got the gingerbread man. You've also got the Rudolph, the Rudolph. You've also got the snowman. You've got our wonderful Santa and Mrs. Santa. She's there. You've got the penguin. 
You've also got the lovely, lovely elf and the robin as well. Remember, there's a wonderful deal, $39.99, plus you get those sheets of acetate in there, and an amazing deal if you just want to dip your toe in the water, as our lovely Ben says. Let me remind you of that amazing deal that we've got for you today. If you buy one for £5.99, $9.95, or two for $10.50, or $18. But if you buy the bundle, UK, EU customers, you're saving yourself 25%, and USA, you're saving yourself 20%. But at the minute, our wonderful penguin is taking the lead. I'm not surprised, because Debbie is making a great lovely card with our penguin right then debbie it's time to get color in i'm gonna call him percy the penguin to get color in our lovely percy percy one two and three penguin this afternoon debbie right so we're going to take our colors now this again i think could be your choice if you wanted to choose some different colors that will match your papers because i've got like some nice um colors of blues in that i thought the the colors that i've chosen and i'll give you the list because i've wrote them down here so i remembered them is the ice blue, the ice grey, the blue turquoise, pink violet and gold yellow. Now again, if you want to choose different colours, that's entirely up to you. Uh, but we're going to work with those colours and build up now. And we'll work at one penguin at a time. Now when you are colouring with alcohol markers, I always, t I always say to everybody, a bit of a couple of sheets of like blotting paper underneath. Um, can be anything from copier paper um, to um, waste of card, something like that, that you're not going to use again because the nature of your colouring, it will bleed through there and that is absolutely normal to do so so we're gonna we're gonna start off with and I think we'll start off with shall we do his little um, body with the ice gray shades so I'm gonna bring in ice gray now I know that the ice gray comes from the original set but I also have an ice gray extender one which means I've got to, I can get a little bit more depth and dimension because I'm gonna have not just three colors to play with now I've got six and the ones in this one if again if I show you the extend one is one three and six and on the original it's two seven and ten so you've got a nice scope there of how you can play with them and yeah. um, so I'm gonna use the um I'm gonna use the extended one all right I thought I thought change it sure. a bit. Live your best absolutely life. <laughs> so with any of our Try blend brush pens. Obviously, you do have that beautiful uh, brush nib, um, and again, uh, you've got the three-in-one pen blend. So you've got those three shades like so. Uh, we're going to start with the lightest, and you're going to lay down your colour, and you're going to saturate the area. And I always do tend to work um, a little bit at a time. So I know that round his little um, chunky sides, he's got a little bit of a body there around his body, and on his little what do they call these? Flippers. Thank, are they really? Flin, flings, flins. Fins. Flins. They're flins, flippers. flippers. Or wings, they're coming. Sure. Should we call them that? Flippers. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in. I've, so I've put all my uh, light colour down. Then I'm going to go with uh, the darker one. So I'm just going to go around underneath his little um, flipper. I can't think of it now. Someone needs to help us out. I'm looking. I'm looking now. Thank Penguins. You, Thank you. Do you know what he reminds me of with his little chunky sides? What's that? He reminds me of me. Ah, oh, me and you both, George, me and you both, <laughs> me and you both. Right, so that's my darkest one. So I've got the lightest and the darkest. Right now it looks quite uh, quite strong and striking. But still going to start that blending and that smoothing. And that's when we're going to go into that mid-tone. So on your pen you'll see mid. And you're going to go in. And again, for this, and, and I always say, with a, a, again, anybody who's not aware of what a, you know an alcohol pen is and the shading that we're getting here... There is not as much alcohol content in the darkest one as there is to the lightest. So that's got the least, that's got the mid, and that's got the most. And that creates that beautiful blend. So I'm going to go in with that mid-tone, and I'm going to take it over. I'm not going right down, but I'm going to take it over, because I want to get a bit of a blending going off there with that mid-tone. And I'm doing some little circular motions, because this is a small image... And a lot of people think that they've got to use the tri blends for small images, the yep. big ones for, you know, the pair. No, you can use both for either. So if you've got your normal tri blends, then this is going to work for you as well. So again, I'm going to go in and I'm going to build up and get a little bit of shading going off. On his. Going in there. They are called, they are called wings, but scientifically they're regarded as flippers. Oh, you were right, George. So they are wings, but they are regarded scientifically by us scientists like me as, um, as flippers. 
I never wanted to be a scientist when I was <laughs> Never. Now, I'm going to go back in with the light wand. Do you know where you preserve your highlights? Yes. So, to preserve your highlight, you're just going to leave it at the lightest. So, can you see now, coming up here, the darker, and I went back in with a bit of more dark, because you can. Another yep. myth. People think that you can only go on it once, but um, while it's wet, is get, you're going to get the best transition of that. If it's dried, it takes a, it's not impossible, but it is a, more difficult. Yeah. So you always do it while it's uh, the pen is wet. So I've done this side. Shall we start on his other side? Absolutely. Other side? So we're going to start again with the lightest tone. And again, if you do want to use a bit of both, because that's the extended pen that I'm using on its own, but if you want to add some more in, you absolutely can, George, because yeah. you've got the rest to do that with the extender in the original. Absolutely. Um, but I'm going to go back in. I'm going to turn it around, make life a little bit easy for myself. I'm going to pop the colour, the lightest colour first, always the lightest. I'm going to saturate that all over his little flipper. And then it's got a bit more of a chunkier side this side, so yeah. a little bit. But, you, you know, you can work these pens. They've got a lovely fine tip as well as the brush nib. They're flexible. That's the whole beauty about a tri-blend brush pen. They're flexible. And they can work in many, many different images. So, again, we're going to go in with a dark. So, I've got my dark shade. I'm going to go underneath his little flipper up to the top. Uh, I'm going to bring a little bit down onto the outside of his little flipper on both sides. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the mid one and again I'm going to go in I'm going to do some little circular motions just around over the edges to get my blend going get your blend on get your blend on <laughs> and then back in with the light one to create that lovely tone and once the alcohol starts to evaporate uh, you get that beautiful blending going off and again if you want to go in and you want to add a little bit more by all means while it's still still wet still you know you can still create this yeah you can go back in add a little bit more and go back in again because you've got the ability to do that and then again the same down the sides we're going to start with his darkest one so we're going to go in and um it's like having a little master class with colouring this well it, it is absolutely a lot of people find this relaxing and russ lind on facebook said colouring is so relaxing you get lost in your little projects don't you you do indeed absolutely. george you absolutely do and i'm just going to go in again with that dark with the medium back over there and i'm going to do exactly the same just down here and it literally just blends that in and smooths that transition out and going back in with the light to create that that lovely tone and give him a little bit of a realistic feel to him so that's his body done but i've just missed his middle george so i need to go back in that's all right with his little um superman quiff <laughs> and again i'm just going to go in there in fact i'm going to color that in quite dark there we go and if you like i said if you want to do add a little bit more by all means go back in while it's still fairly you know wet there i don't think i did that bit did i i might have missed that bit there we go but like you know you stamp this out this is so you, you know like if it does go wrong and let's be honest yeah it will go wrong at some point yeah. you can always restamp it and try again absolutely so while i've got my gray going i think we'll color the rest in and we'll do that as well george yeah so any questions or anybody while i'm doing a spot of color do you know what oh, there's no questions but at the minute everyone's just saying how much they love you Aww. stephanie on facebook love the little penguins i realized that the penguin <laughs> i said they love you and i went they love the penguins we mean the, the color penguins debbie's not a penguin <laughs> point out right now. Uh, linda on youtube the little gingerbread man is so cute diane beautiful jenny uh, oh yes jenny's card absolutely of course our wonderful crafter over in ohio uh patty abbott heard this was much needed for the brush markers as some of the colors were too far apart to get a good blend absolutely that's one about our extended pens now if you do want the extended collection bear this in mind uh, if you are watching online and you're shopping the show online uh, the originals the ogs are the ones which you can buy you'll just have to search into our search bar on the website so just type in try blend extenders and they should come up nice and easy um and diane thank you debbie for explaining this thank you so much you know so much love uh yeah loads of love everyone's just relaxing today it's saturday isn't it it's a nice chill day it's a bank holiday over here in the uk um it's very warm as well. It looks warm in Ohio where Jenny is. She looks very warm. It's, I think it's a warm day. It's a warmer bank holiday in the UK 
which never happens. No, I know. And you know what? We're all inside. We're all inside. Me if I were you, I'd be getting me colouring. I'd be sitting outside yeah. and I'd be sitting on with a tree, colouring um, and having some fun uh, doing this because, of course, you can do that, can't you? You can do well, the me and you in the other studio. I felt you put that. Tracy working behind the scenes, getting everything ready. There's Charlotte in the, uh, in the gallery, director, and the wonderful Georgina producer as well. In fact, Charlotte, is there any spiders in the gallery today? Don't, no, no, no spiders in there. She rang me last week, Charlotte. She was, there was a spider. It was a big spider. And she, and she had to get the hoover on it, or the vacuum cleaner, and uh, left it in the conservatory. Two hours it took her to get this spider, bless her. That's, uh, that's the perils of living in the northeast. Spiders. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you're watching Australia, they'll be like, no, we've got the biggest spiders. That is nothing compared to some of the spiders. Nicola um, on YouTube, so enjoying having the weekend to myself. Crafters TV, wine and chocolate with my craft bits spread everywhere. Well, oh, my kind of weekend. Debbie's That's got her craft bits spread weekend. everywhere. Look at them all over the place. She's got her chocolates and the wine. What chocolates would you have, Debbie? Any um, in the world. Right now, I've got a little bit of a little bit of a nibble going off here. I've got a little bit of a Slimming World bar, an i fi bar, <laughs> with my cup of coffee that Tracy bought me. Uh, I thought brought the penguins had done their business then. Oh, that's <laughs> <a little. laughs> it looks lovely. Uh, yeah, I you know what I I, you know I love a dark bounty. Oh, well, do you know my favourite at the minute? Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh, yeah. George, no, I've not had one for such a long time. It's always um, very rare you get them as well. Not everywhere stocks them. No, that's very true. Um, but yeah, um, I love uh, dark chocolate. But um, I'm in two at the moment, which now I'm so thankful for because they used to be limited edition. They're not anymore. Uh, orange Twirls. Oh, yes. Ooh. Orange Twirls. Ooh, 11 and yes. a half sins, as I have worked out. Yep. As we did earlier, George. Yeah, we were sat there working. <laughs> we were sat working them out, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, orange, yeah, orange twirl. That's, I that's always talk about chocolate on, on crafters because I love the American chocolate. But peanut butter M and M's. I was talking to Craig a few weeks back about American things. You know, peanut butter M and M's. But I know a lot of. I like British chocolate. I do like a bit of. Uh, I like British ball, which you get in Germany. Beautiful chocolate. Uh, Barbara McNeil on YouTube. I bought the wobbler dies. Now I know how to colour them in. Thanks for these amazing tips. Yeah, absolutely. Remember, we are on YouTube. You've got um, a profile on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. You'll know when we go live every single time, and then you can create your own playlists every single time. So if you want to bought everything today, and actually, well, I, I don't know if you remember all this. Don't worry, we'll be here for a long, long time. You know, it's two years already. We'll be here for a bit longer and so will the show. Save it to your playlist and you can come back and watch it when everything's arrived and take it in your own time. And if you are watching live, remember you can pause us and we'll catch up with us. You know, we're going to get you through the end of this card. It's take, you know, take us two hours, but we'll do it so you get every step of the way. And like Debbie said, there's so much fun you can have with this. Christine on Facebook, sitting on my swing in the lovely sunshine watching the show on my iPad in sunny... Derby, of all places. And Monica on YouTube, what's a dark bounty? Still with coconut. It is, it's the coconut chocolate bar. It's coconut. You can get milk chocolate, but you get the dark chocolate version as well. And they're much rarer. Not many people are fans of coconut chocolate, but I, um, you know, at Christmas, you get a tub of, like, you know, big family sharing chocolates, quality streets, and I always get the coconut in there. So much coconut in there. No one always loves them. I always have the coconut as well. I absolutely adore them. Do you like coconut, Debbie? Yes. Uh, oh, it's that stemmed from my mum because my mum's a big coconut fan. Yeah. She won't mind me saying she loves Bounties, one of her favourite chocolates, and she likes the milk. She's not a lover of dark chocolate, uh, but Bounty, yeah. Ooh. Got my mouth watering now, George. Got my mouth watering. <laughs> yeah, I will literally, because I'm honestly, it's, it's got me anchoring after a bounty. Uh, I blame you. But they are beautiful. And I love coconut. Because we used to, my mum used to make, do you know now then? I always get this wrong. Do you know the coconut macaroons? Yeah. Is that the right word? Yeah. Right. Uh, she used to make them. Oh, my days. The best yeah. thing since sliced bread. Um, and I have been addicted to coconut ever since. So, yes, I love the real stuff. From the real coconuts? Absolutely. Well, Mavis Davis makes a great coconut tart. Oh, wow. I might have to go knocking on a door. Yeah, Mavis Davis is my nan, by the way, if you're wondering. Mm -hmm. Lister on Facebook. Like, you all know her. <laughs> yeah, apart from Debbie, I just generally know my nan. Um, oh, that sounds delicious. I miss English goodies. America isn't the same next time I'm home. Crafters companion and chocolate in my second case. And Rebecca Arnold, Facebook. I've not had British chocolate before. But for that I know of, but German chocolate and Belgian chocolate are so good. Cadbury's, if you've ever had Cadbury's, that's British chocolate. You know, the melt in Birmingham, you know, in Birmingham, in Bourneville, which, you know, they get the chocolate bar, named after the, for the, it was the workers' village, that. And there was a dentist and a bank and everything built for all the workers at Cadbury's. Um, 
When did Crush's TV become chocolate? It should be chocolate TV. CTV. <laughs> chocolate TV. Yeah, absolutely. And Carol going on Facebook. Crush's TV has got me through this horrible pandemic. Very grateful for the uplifting people. Thank you so much, Carol, Aww. for getting us through it. It ain't been easy, has it? It has not been an easy time, but hopefully we're getting there slowly but surely and crafting is helping you every step of the way to get through to the other side of what has been... There's no other word for it. Mental two years, hasn't it? Yes. And in those two yeah. years, here we are two years later. Crafty TV is still going strong. Right, we how are, are we indeed. doing with our so, gaggle of penguins? So we've got our little gaggle going off. Like I said, if you wanted to add the... Because that was the extended one that I used. But if you did want to go in and add uh, some more depth, you can do it because you've got your number 10 where you can add a little bit more darkness onto these if you want to. Uh, but I'm quite happy with those. The ones that I originally did, um, I did with my original tri-blends because um, I didn't think we could have these on the show today. So uh, you can see I've got a different depth in there because the different the tri-blends are different as well. So, uh, so, but yeah, I've, I quite like that. I'm quite happy with that. So I think now what we'll move on to is colouring in of his uh, hat and scarf. So we're going to use a bit of turquoise, I think, for this one. Yeah. So I'm just going to have a quick swig of me uh, coffee, uh, George. That's all right. I know Beautiful. a little bit, a bit down, a bit down there. So. <laughs> you right there? Just... It's all right. I uh, nearly choked on it then, now <laughs> we're getting carried away. Uh, but again, like with the extended uh, collection, you've got um, choices. So you could use these because we've got two, five and nine in the original and we've got three, seven and eight in the extended. So again, you could you could build this up. I think I might just use though for this one, I might use um, just a couple of the colours on this one because there's nothing to say that you've got to use all three colours. Yeah, absolutely. You can just use a couple of the colours as well. So I'm going to go in with the lightest shade of the turquoise now this turquoise is beautiful that's Absolutely gorgeous that was the one gorgeous. you were showing us earlier with the demonstration right with the colors yes chart. yes yeah it's just it's just such a lovely color um and i'm going to just use the mid-tone to add a little bit of um shading rather than the whole three because there's sometimes depending on your stamp there's not always the need to do all three so I, that's that's the beautiful thing about alcohol colouring. Um, and again, I'm just going to go back in there and blend that. So that's his little hat. Then we're going to go in with his scarf. And again, I'm just going to use the lighter tone. And because you've got this flexible brush nib, it does mean that you can get into all those little nooks and crannies quite easily. Um, because with the bigger items, that's when you do your brush strokes. You know, like your stroking motions and, and your um, feathering, so to speak. Yep. Uh, but with your um, brush, because it's a flexible Japanese brush of the highest quality, you can get into the nooks and crannies with ease. Yeah. And that's what I love about these. They're just absolutely beautiful pens to work with. It's really funny, you gorgeous. never find nooks without crannies, isn't it? Uh, that's very true, George. You never that's find, you never find bobs without bits. Bits and bobs, my Safi yeah. calls it. Bits and bobs. But then that, there is a little bit of a programme called that. Yes, that is true. Bits and bobs. That's where I think she gets it from. Beautiful. I love it. I'm, I'm just like watching you like going, ah, oh, beautiful. I know, because it's just such a relaxing thing. And these are really super cute. Yeah. So we're going to just carry on doing this. Yeah. Now, all I would say is, is while you've got your pens out, colour each one with that pen and then move on to the next colour and do it that way. And you can build it up that way. How are we doing for time? You've got half an hour. Perfect. Perfect. Um, Kay Red... Uh, Restart on a YouTube, a Facebook. I got my order in. Can't wait to get the wobblers and a few other things. And Sally Joseph, that's an adorable card. Absolutely, you know, it's a beautiful card. And remember, you can come back and watch this anytime, along with any of our craft alongs. If you've seen something, oh, actually, that looks good. That looks nice. Let's do that whenever you want, because you can come back and watch us every single time. Uh, it's Saturday here on Crafters TV. Let me tell you what's coming up a little bit later on for you today. 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. East Coast time, 11 a.m. West Coast time. Dreamies are here. Yes, guys, it's going to be a sellout. I can tell you now, these Dreamies products that they are releasing today are stunning. These MDF designs, the lantern, the Father Christmas, the gnomes, the candles. You saw a sneak peek of them earlier today in Play Your Crafts Right. It was stunning oh they were brilliant and uh, i'm back tomorrow as well so much happening tomorrow softer side of life is happening tomorrow me and bernie are going to be here tomorrow from 12 p.m uk time 7 a.m eastern standard time it's the george weekend here on crafters tv yeah, <laughs> friday saturday sunday oh, can be full? and then i'm back wednesday thursday i've never i've never worked 
it, if, can you imagine, Debbie, if it was me and you all weekend? Oh, I know. We 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 never we love each other. You know, it sounds like we don't. We love each other. I actually love working with you, Debbie. It's oh, a bless you. Never well, a chore. No, I've got to I've got to head down to Peterborough today because I'm um, I'm on Create and Craft tomorrow. Of course you are. So I can't be here, but we've got Bernie and our fabulous Jan, who's going to be yes. here for now. I think I don't know. Is it is it a launch she's got tomorrow? We've got a launch day tomorrow I at three it p.m. Was. Yeah. And then Second Chance Sunday. And let me tell you, Second Chance Sunday, tomorrow from 7pm, 11, uh, 2pm East Coast time. Ooh, it's going to be busy. It's going to be a busy Second Chance Sunday. And uh, stencils in launch day. Have a sneak peek on the website, don't you forget. Uh, Rebecca's been back in touch. Oh, I've heard of I've had Cadbury's before. I knew it was European, but didn't know it was British. It's not one of my favourites. Pardon? Great, thanks, Rebecca. Across, <laughs> I've only ever seen... I've only ever seen milk chocolate. I prefer dark. Do they, oh, make, yeah. do they make dark chocolate? They're Bourneville. Bourneville is the one oh. that's Cadbury's, and it's named after the village in Birmingham where Cadbury's is based, Bourneville. And that's where the workers... Yeah, it's, so the story is Cadbury's made... Um, when the workers started working for them a few, uh, you know, many years ago, uh, back in the olden days, they had all the work... They looked after the workers, so they built dentists for them and banks and affordable housing, and they had their own village with football clubs and bowls and everything like that, and they looked after their workers, same with round trees in York, they did the exact same thing. And then that was the village, and it was a tribute to the workers and the villages back in... I think Robert, his name was George Cadbury actually, Robert George Cadbury, back in 1600s he started Cadbury's, it was a thing, so it's been going for some time. George! Yeah. You yeah, are absolutely. an historian. Yeah. I, I can't believe you've just sat there and rattled all that off from memory. Yeah. You are clearly are a very, very well-educated young man. Or I've been working there over the summer. Uh, <laughs> Christine on Facebook. Hello, Debbie and George and Aww. team. And Nora Doiser on Facebook. I ordered the Mrs. Santa Claus and Santa and the elf. Hopefully I'll get to play later today. We always love to play with Santa, don't we? Absolutely. Father Christmas, Santa, Saint Nick, whatever he's called. Father... Christmas, yeah, Saint Nicholas. Any other names? What do you call him? Somebody, do you, some people might call him a different name. What I know, I can't remember. What he's in German now. I can't remember. Christi what he is. Chris, Chris, no, Chris oh, Dingle. Um, that's something else. That June has said, don't forget Hotel Chocolat. I used to belong to the Chocolate Tasting Club and would mark them out of ten. What Ooh, June? On Facebook. What a, a job that was. Club. Oh, right, Debbie. You can only ever craft it. You can, so you can either craft. Every day. Yep. Or chocolate tasting. Craft every day. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah craft every day. Uh, just because of current uh, current health kick. Uh, yes. yes. Craft every single day. <laughs> and she's in the building. <laughs> and Gemma on Facebook said these penguins look amazing, and they They're really gorgeous, do. Aren't they? So you've done the scarves with the turquoise family. Yeah. What colour you can do the dots next? We're gonna go in. Oh yes, I forgot my dots. Pink violet. Ooh, it's a good job you were there to remind me. Um, I'm going to go in with the light. Yeah. Well, Actually, what? I'm going to go in with the darker because I quite like this yeah, colour. Make it stand out. Um, yeah, I'm going to change it up a little bit. What is it, Georgina, for Father Christmas in German? Weihnachtenfly. I speak German, it? but apparently I've forgotten how to speak German. It's a very long word. It's very good. I'd love to know where you're watching in the world today. I know we've got a lot in the USA and here in the UK, but if you're watching wherever you are in the world, let us know. We'd love to know where you are, whether you're in Germany, France, Mexico, um, Spain, basically any country in the world, United Arab Emirates, get in touch. We'd love to, love to hear from you today. Absolutely. We'd love to have you here today as well. Um, and, you know, I always want, I've, if we've got any Australian viewers, I need to answer me a question. Because when I was a kid, I got told a story that Father Christmas in Australia didn't pull the sleigh with reindeer. He pulled the sleigh with kangaroos. No. Is that true, Australia? No. Please let me know if so. Because um, I need to know that answer. Because, I've, because I have need to know what's happening but I know we've got a few Australia viewers but I'm just looking at the time now some of you may be awake some of you may not be awake but if you know anything about history please or oh, in fact Georgie just google that for me because I'm in the back of my mind now it's telling me uh, Cherry on Facebook Debbie you're cool and it's absolutely gorgeous it is gorgeous and remember there's loads of play uh, loads playing your crap not play crest right color me happy shows on youtube and facebook which you can watch but we had a great color me happy last night myself and debbie where we launched our extended packs uh eve be on youtube we called him santa mum and dad 
Father Christmas. We call him Santa Mum and Dad. Very good. Are you excited for Christmas this year, Debbie? Uh, yes. Yeah, it's going to be a strange one. It's going to be a strange yeah. one. Because uh, uh, it's going to be the first time that um, since Sapphire come along that she's not with me on Christmas morning. So I have told my daughter I'm going to be there at like crack of dawn uh, because um, I don't want to miss uh, either Safi's face or Ezra. I don't think Ezra's going to really totally understand in all honesty. But um, yeah, I, um, I, I, it's going to be a strange one because I'm, they're not at home with me on Christmas morning to wake up. And I love seeing her face. It's just, it's just a joy. It really is. Now, the next colour I'm going to use, uh, George, is the uh, gold yellow so we're going to go with the gold yellow uh, and i'm yep. going to use the blend for this one so i'm going to use this for his beak and again i'm just going to lay down the lightest color but i'm only going to use the next one the mid-tone again uh, because i don't think it really needs much more than that george absolutely so again i'm going to color his little um mm. wait a minute feet Thank you. I got those happy feet. I thought I thought they got a different name to these then. Uh, loads of you get in touch while you're around the world. Liz Day, YouTube, South Wales in the UK. Linda Armstead, YouTube, Maryland, USA. Nora Dozer on Facebook. Florence, Arizona in the USA. And Eve B, Kansas City. Just blew in from the oh, windy city. That's Missouri. Beautiful. I love it. So many. Yeah, we need that. We need like state bingo. Where you guys are from. And we're going to tick it off. And we'll see if we... Well, that's what we should do one show. Is print a map of the world off. And with states in the USA, and when everyone gets in touch, we can see actually who's getting involved. And we like we can play world map bingo. And <laughs> Barnsley would get knocked straight off that list. We would do it, Debbie. We America get knocked off there. That's it. We've got two out of the three, two hundred and I think it's like two hundred and eighty-six countries or two hundred and six. I don't know. Uh, making it up as I go along sometimes. Right there are beautiful little penguins. Percy one, two, and three. Or Percy, Pippa and Pepper. <laughs> Percy, Pippa and um, Penelope. <laughs> A triplet. I love it, I love it. Uh, right, so what I'm just going to do though, just on the inside, I'm going to bring back in... Um, oh, I've got ice blue. Yeah, I'm going to just bring back in my ice blue. And I'm just going to frame his little face just around the inside like so. Yeah. And that just gives him a little bit of a framing. So I'm going to go around That's his body. Cute. So let's just go around there. I love how that's just taking it to the next level. You what, my love? That's just taking that. Yeah, it just gives him a little bit of a frame. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go around his little uh, crest there. The crest? Something? Face? Yeah, face? Yeah. Crown or something like that. Crown, this. yeah. But I'm just going to go around his body line. Mary Navid on YouTube. She's from Tipperary Island. It's a long way to Tipperary. Um, <laughs> all together now. Here, here we are. Beautiful. Oh, I love this, Debbie. I love these penguins. Aww. I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are in the day. Sharon Samuels Facebook. The, this penguin has dancing feet. Of course, I got those happy feet. There's a great little film called Happy Feet about the penguins, and they dance, and they're so good. Beautiful. Look at those. And there you go. All coloured in and all ready now to attach to our little, um, a little uh, thing. Oh, do you know what, though? What? I think I might just add a little bit of glitter. You glitter never. Oh, bit a bit of sparkle. Those glitter is... pens are in that Spectrum Noir mystery bag. Not many of those left. Well, because um, they work beautifully with alcohol markers, I think I'm just going to give them a little bit of a touch just on there. Yeah. Uh, so again, let me go on to his thing. You could be using your faux snow, anything there, just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. And it's not an in-your-face sparkle, this, but. It's just a nice little feature. Of course, you could go all the way around him if you wanted to, but I'm quite happy with that just round his little yeah. hat there. Oops. Oh, you flipped over, you little devil. There you go. So let's just pop that now to dry, because what we're going to do now, George, yep. is we are going to get ready with our... Fabulous little um, markers here. So we're going to use these. These are our little uh, wobbly... Bit. Mechanism. Mechanism. Thank you. Mechanism. That's all right. Right. So let's get ready for that one, George. So I'm going to move those to one side, just yes. for the time being. There we go. Let's move that to the side. Um, and then we're going to bring in this mechanism. And we're going to bring in some acetate. Or, or because you can use white stamping card. Now, I had a little scrap of white stamping card. I don't know why I've done with it, George. That's all right. I need a minute just to go and find it. You look for it. I've got some more amazing deals for you in this show. Let me bring some more amazing deals for you. Remember, those amazing inks that we had for you with those great inks. It works out. You're buying three and you're getting one for free. Let me remind you of the wonderful alcohol-proof uh, ink pad collection. You've got the amazing four colours. You've got Noir Black, 
There it is for your Noir Black. You've got the Rustic Brown. You've got Pebble. And you've got Flagstone. Not Flintstone, Flagstone. There they are. Today's price, saving yourself 25%. Works out you're buying three, you're getting one for free. We've also got stamping platforms. And in the stamping platform deal, this is what you're getting here. Look how much you're getting for your money here today. You are getting the stamping mat, okay? Like Debbie was saying, it's that beautiful, it's soft, but it's firm, all right? So when you're putting those stamps onto your cards or whatever you may be using them for, it's going to give you that same quality time after time. Along with a six by six platform, which you see here, that six bit six platform and at that price today it works out you're getting the four by four as well absolutely free a great deal for you there as well at that amazing platinum price as well remember 20% off and we've also got rocker blocks for you rocker blocks are a brilliant addition uh, now I saw these in action yesterday a, you stick your stamp on there and then you rock a bye baby on the rocker box. Yes, absolutely. You're getting here this amazing deal, different sizes for your different stamps. At that price today, which is an amazing price, it works out. You buy one, you get one free. Half price, $9.99, $13.99, or that platinum price, £7.99, $11.19. So don't forget, keep on commenting because remember, it's our anniversary week here at Crafters TV. Chance for you to win some amazing goodies. Can we take a quick look at the anniversary? Three goodies, what you could win? Is that available? Is that possible? Because I'd love to remind you what you could be winning today. All the stamping card that you see there, the matte black, the white stamping card, and there's dies stencils, embossing folders, and that gilding wax as well. So much in there. All you gotta do is comment and you could win. Right. Let's go back to our wonderful Debbie with this next spot. In fact, it's the final stages now of this card here on our Craft Along with our mechanism, with a wobble of mechanism. Debbie, how are we doing with the acetate over there? Right, so our acetate, our everyday acetate, comes with a coating. So it's to stop it from getting scratched in uh, transportation. So all you need to do is get your poker tool, find the end, pick that up and pull it off. And that bit goes in the bin and now you've got some crystal clear if Super you do want heavyweight acetate. If you do want extra state details on your screen now. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, George, I'm gonna cut a couple out um in well, I'm gonna cut one out in acetate, but I'm also gonna show you if you've got white stamping card that you can do it with white stamping card as well. So I'm just going to snip a little piece of that off, just move that to one side, try not to lose it. Um I'm gonna snip myself a couple of pieces of white stamping card as well, because uh, of course. Anything that's got a construction to it, you're going to be able to do this with. So I am going to bring in, and I need to bring him in a little plate for this. Now, I did say about the acetate that there is the time, uh, sometimes that year, where you will need to use um, the metal uh, platform in there. So I'm going to pop that in. Oh, I went wrong. Beat your daft devil. Acetate. There we go. Um, and then just pop that over the top. And then just run that through. Easy, and then it? that is your normal combination to cut your acetate. And like I said, there may be the occasion where you need to read it through twice to get that real good cut. Can you hear it working though? So I think we're going to be all right. I think, I think we're so. going to be all right. So let's just bring that off for a second. And then when you take that off, you have, and you, because it's acetate, and the reason people, and why we pop acetate in here is because sometimes you don't want to be able to see how um, it bounces on the card. With white, that's exactly what you're going to get. But what you've got here is the mechanism that creates the spring load. So can you see now that spring? Yeah. And that's, that's exactly what you could do. So I'm going to lay that onto my white card so I don't lose it because <coughs> I know what I'm like. Uh, but then I'm going to just show you that you can do the same with white cards. So let's pop that down. Let's um, hold that down. So there's a couple of choices you can do, and I suppose it depends on your design. If you were doing something in black cardstock, there's nothing to stop you from cutting it out in black either. Yeah, absolutely. Work what works with you and work what works with your design. That's all I'm going to say. So yeah. there's got to be something with construction weight. So I personally don't cut it onto anything lighter than a cardstock, and that's just because you don't get the same bounce. Yeah. Personal that makes sense. preference. Yeah. And do you know, I look at that spiral, it could be used for anything as well, not necessarily. Yeah, it could. Uh, you could use it for like birthday for like. Yep. Uh, what are they called? Streamers? Streamers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Get your money's worth. Get your money's worth, George. That's it. So I'll cut another one out into the white uh, just to speed things up again. Uh, and I don't need my metal shim with the white cardstock because it's not as um, a, a denser material, if that makes sense. Acetate yeah. has got some. It's, lots of, it's, a lot, it's a different kind of material, isn't it, to cut through? So that's why you need uh, your metal shim with that. 
So, yeah, absolutely. let's bring that off. And now what we've got is are three mechanisms. Perfect. Perfect. And literally, let's just pu push that out. There's a little release all at the back. And then just get your poke tool underneath it and drop that on. Right, so... Here we go. Yes, let's get our little uh, little um, characters there ready. Now, I have chosen three different types. And the, the best way for how I would say put this on is, is that when you spring load it, and I'll just show you what I mean, you can keep this part to the base of your card. So this part here onto the base of your card. And the edge here onto the back of your little penguin. So in order to do that, you need a good, a good, and I mean good, strong, because this is a this is a kinetic card that's got some movement to it. Yeah. So you need to hold it down with something strong. So for this bit, I do use red liner tape, which is why I put it on my shopping list for today, because um, it makes a difference. Absolutely. And I'm just going to find my little snippy scissors, uh, George, just for a second. No, that's fine. No, absolutely. You're perfectly the right glue. You, see, you know, every step of this. Hopefully, you see today the list, the shopping list. It's allowing you to make something perfect and the right tools for the right job every single time. And that red liner tape does that exactly for you. So I'm just going to hold it down with some red liner tape. Uh, and I'm not going to take the backing off. I am just going to use it at the back. Now, you could use um, a hot glue. So you could use your hot glue gun for this um, to hold it into place. But I'm just, um, no one's going to see the back of it, to be fair, without, without being horrible. They're not going to go and start pulling your card to bits to see how it works. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry that that's over there. But if that bothers you... Um, use like, um, uh, I'm just thinking, a glue, uh, but you've got to make sure that it's dry thoroughly. Uh, so a tacky glue onto the back there and to hold it and secure it into place. Because what we want to do is now pop on, and this is when I always, again, I, I definitely use my red liner tape because of that, um, that strength that it offers me. And I'm just going to cut myself a little slither off this time because I don't want it to cover the entirety of there. So I'm just going to pop it onto the little back disc and I'm going to flatten that. But can you see, I don't want it to cover the whole of the yeah, disc. Yeah, of course. But I am going to give it a little burnish using my ball end of my poke tool. And then that now will give us the um, spring to create that lovely wobbly effect. Yeah. And I'm going to repeat that on all of these. So we're going to get another penguin. Let's pop this on. And I'll show you the one with the acetate. Now with acetate, ooh, always tricky. It's invisible. Uh, I'm not kidding. It's a, it's it? a fantastic, right. exactly. It's a fantastic medium, but it's invisible. And it's a little, honestly, especially with Debbie's eyes being like they are, <laughs> uh, sometimes a little bit tricky. So I'm just going to spread that. So I've got that little piece there. I'm going to pop um, my red liner tape just over the arm of it to keep it into place. I'm going to make sure that's nice and secured. And again, I'm just going to pop a little bit onto the back of my um, base disc. I'm going to call it the base disc. The base disc. The base disc, yeah. But I'm only putting a little bit on this one, George, not a lot. And when I say not a lot, I think even that's still too big. So just make sure, if, and again, if you're using a wet glue, absolutely fine, but you will need to let it dry. So I'm just going to pop that into that base. And again, I'm going to make sure it's burnished down. There we go. And then lastly, on the last one, exactly the same. My other little uh, penguin there. Yeah. And I'm going to split this because this is the bit that we want to attach to the back. So if I just hold that there, that little arm. So let's pop that onto... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come here. Ooh. Perfect. Right. A lot of you are getting towards the end of your craft, uh, craft alongs and I bet they look amazing. I'd love to see them. So make sure you comment, you know, underneath, share us your, your pictures. We'd love to see them on Facebook and Instagram. Share them with us and myself and Debbie. We'd love to see what you've created today. And um, we'd love to see them with you, Debbie, as well. Yes. So different, every single one. Yeah. And we'll head in back to Jenny very, very shortly to see what she's been creating for us following on with our craft along in Ohio. Oh, God, I can't wait because Jenny is fabulous. I love yeah. it when Jenny joins us. Lovely lady, gorgeous hair, fabulous craft room, amazingly talented designer as well in her own right because she's just fabulous. And brilliant hair. She's got brilliant hair, beautiful hair. Lovely hair. It really is. 
So we've got all of our little uh, pieces. So what we're going to do now is, we're going to bring back in this card, and we're not finished yet because we've still got to add a sentiment. But you're going to bring back in your base of your card, and you're going to decide where you want them. So do you want them skew with? Do you want them stood side by side? Or do you want them to go around and have a little play feature to the card, which is exactly what I want to do, to create that little bit of a wobble and a bounce. So for each one of these, I've decided where I've got them, so I've composed where I want to put them. And then I'm just going to peel back the red liner tape. So make sure it's nice and burnished because it can be a bit tricky, especially when you're just using a smaller piece. But just take that back. Let's go back there. Take that off. Come on, nails. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. There we go. Honestly, these nails, George, they're absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> right, so I'm going to now stick that onto there. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a push down. You can go underneath and get your finger underneath and yeah. just press it into that centre, okay, so that you've got that on. But what you see now is you've got a little oh, bit of good. a wobbly. Yeah? yeah. And that's the white cardstock, but I'll do it with the acetate as well so you can see that it works with both. It's just a personal choice. And if you haven't got any acetate, absolutely fine to work with a, a construction cardstock again. So again, I've just given it a little bit of a pull out, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to pop him down. I'm going to lift it up because I just want to stick my disc part down. So give it a nice little... Um, uh, uh, thing. No, not finger. What's it called? Finger old? Hold. Push. 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 That's it. Yeah. A little burnish. Burnish. That's the word I'm looking for. I knew I'd get there. I knew I'd get there. And give it a little pull out because you want it to have that motion where it wobbles. Too many times I've seen that this bit is laid flat to the card. You aren't going to get the wobble. You need to manipulate that wobble, uh, the wobbler mechanism, to move. So it's no good leaving it flat on the card that bit is not going to work so this is why you have to pull it a little bit to tease it into its wobbly wobbly form should we have him that way or should we have him that way we'll have him that way we'll flow with the card <laughs> he's upside down go with the a little fly. bit drunk i'm going to lift it up again because i haven't quite got that right so let me just move that down into place i'm going to lift up the end and push down that base again so again you can see i'm pushing it with my finger and then i'm going to just pull that have I pulled... Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we've got... Look at them. Wibbly wobbly. Can you see them? Bounce, 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 bounce. And that's because I've teased the wobble uh, mechanic... Me mechanism yeah we've wobbled and we've pulled it and teased it so that you've got the wobbling going off can you see now when i use Woo. the card look they're wobbling yeah. and that's what you need to do it's no good leaving it flat to the card and just expecting it to wobble on its own you have to tease the mechanism into shape to get that wobble every single time um, and that's why these are just such a fun little factor uh, we've just got one more thing to do though george yes and we might just get this in time but we're going to stamp ourselves a little um um thank you thank you charlotte a sentiment we're going to stamp ourselves a little sentiment so let me just grab uh me rocker block for this bring this in i pick that up with me rocker block there we go um and choice of choice of inks for this one george yeah. entirely up to you uh, but what i'll do is rock a block that to rock a rock a block oh i've got a little scrap piece here i'll use that instead wasting that big piece hope you have a day wait a minute hope your day is a flurry of fun Aww. so that bit is going to be my sentiment um and then let me just pop that onto there we'll chop this up Let's just give my, where's my guillotine? And this again, this is a personal choice for you to decide how you want your sentiment Absolutely. to be. Absolutely. Um, and then I'm going to mat it onto so the matching blue cardstock. So just trim it down to your desired size. And I'm just going to, and, and I, I will be totally honest with you. I never ever measure, <laughs> oh, it's so bad. I never ever measure my, um, my sentiments when I'm, tri when no. I'm trimming. I don't think it cut through there, did it? I don't think I... Like, oh, I've got a little bit... Oh, I've got something stuck on me guillotine. Dear there me, is. that's the one that's going to affect me cut. I need to I need to give that a clean before next show. Loads of love coming in. Debbie, it's amazing how you can manipulate those tiny pieces of tape with long nails, beautiful as they are. And uh, Cheryl Johnston on Facebook. Great demo, Debbie. G uh, Jean Mary 
Penny on Facebook, great show, Debbie, George, and all the CC team. Thank you so much. And uh, Alison on Facebook, woohoo, I finished my craft along. Thank you, Debbie, for the inspiration. Aww. So oh, I'm much so pleased. Love. I'm so pleased that you have. That's fabulous. Um, and then I'm going to just pop a bit of glue just onto the back. There we go. And then literally, let me pop my glue back in there. Oh, George, me and me eyes. Me and me eyes. Stop panicking, me eyes, Debbie. Me eyes, me eyes. Me eyes. <laughs> and I have literally just given it a little tail end. We do have dyes that create these kind of little features. Uh, but when I say I do it by eye, can you see? I by literally eye. do. Yeah. Again, a personal choice. You cut this how you want to cut this, this sentiment. Just give it a nice little feature there. And then I'm going to add a few little gems because I have got some little gems as well that I'm going to add to it just to finish this off. Absolutely. Um, and I'm just going to pop that down. Let me open my bag up. I put everything in a little bag sometimes. So let me just um, create this. You could use... Go on. Oh, do you know what you could use? Foster. You could use your... Um, you could use your... Um, oh, what do they call them? Glossy highlights yes you could use your glossy highlights to do, do this little finishing feature instead of gems yeah that would look beautiful as well um so i've got myself my little sentiments i've got myself a few little gems i've got my little woo, 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 wobble wobble Percy Penny. <laughs> and i'm just going to sit my sentiment and i'm curling it slightly i'm just using my fingers for this bit but just going to sit that and i will use my um tacky glue for this bit Actually, I could have used my red liner tape. I've got my red liner tape. How many minutes? Four minutes. Right. Well, while I'm just titivating this up. I'll, shall we see what Jenny's yeah, done? Yeah, absolutely. Go on, then. Jenny over in Ohio. Jenny, let's have a look. What have you created for us in our craft along today? We'd love to see it. Let's have a look. Jenny. Oh, wow. I, I went with the pink ones because I love the pink ones. Yeah. But I chose some coral colors to go with my snowman on the inside. Because he's got some coral on his hat. So. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. And a bit of ribbon there on the top I see as well. Yep, I did a little ribbon. Perfect. And they wobble. There they are. Jenny, will you be using the wobblers again? I definitely will. I love them. They're so Absolutely. cute. Jenny, it's been a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a wonderful day. And hopefully we'll see you again very, very soon. Sounds great. Thank Bye. you. Cheers, Jenny. Bye-bye. Uh, listen, it's an amazing collection. The great Wobblers set. Listen, you can be like Jenny and join us here in the studio. Just email us and you can be part of us here and the craft along maybe one day in the future. Right, Debbie is finishing off with her wonderful... Oh, here it comes for you. Want to be on Crafters TV? Email us. Uh, Debbie is finishing off here with her wonderful demonstration. Um, it's going to look brilliant. A bit of glue there for us as well. That is going to look absolutely yeah, perfect. Yeah, um, all I'm doing here, George, is just adding a few little gems just to give it a little bit of... I, I call it all the time, but I do say it, it's a bit of titivation. Um, I like to uh, create something, and I, I do like a nice sparkly gem or two, yeah. um, which is what I'm doing just to add... Uh, just some extra decoration. There's nothing, you know, you don't have to do this. This is just something you can choose to do. Uh, but I just think it adds a little bit of extra, extra niceness to the card. Yes. And again, this is entirely up to you if you want to add these features. Um, I personally love doing this. Anybody used to, they used to laugh at me all the time when I were in Chesterfield because they could always recognise a Debbie card. Absolutely. Because I had gems on it. That's what they used to say. That's a Debbie card. Because it always had a gem or two just to add a little bit. And I think sometimes it's what you're comfortable with, isn't it? So Absolutely. there you go. And there you have the finished craft along uh, with your little wobblers. And if I just give it a little flick, whoop, 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 whoop. There you go, a beautiful craft along. I've kept it really simple and stripped back because I think the dies and stamps themselves speak absolute volumes. But we did it. Absolutely. Did it. Remember, guys, you can bite your hand these on these in fast, fantastic wobbler sets. Let me remind you of the stamps and the wobblers that you get within this purchase. You get the gingerbread man. There he is. You get the wonderful reindeer. You get the incredible snowman. You get the lovely Father Christmas. You get Mrs. Claus, you get the penguin, you get the elf, 
and you get the Robin. That's all yours today for $39.99 or $69.95. Remember that wonderful deal, two for 10 or $18. Listen, the demo of the show, of course, is going to be the Craft Along. Join us later on for our uh, final show of the day at 7 p.m. UK time, 2 p.m. East Coast time. Dreamies are going to be here in the Craft House, so come and join us. They're going to sell out. Um, we've got one more thing to do. What is it? Oh, yeah, prize giveaway. There it is. And don't forget, tomorrow morning, 12 p.m., 7 a.m. is our soft to side live. One more bit of business, our prize draw. Let's have a look what you have been winning today. It's this. It's the crafting selection of cards, stamps, embossing folders, and everything like that. It's going to the wonderful... Rwanda Crowley, yes, you are the winner. Well done to you. All you've got to do is email us prizes at crafterscompanion.com and we'll make sure that comes to you. Congratulations to you. Well, listen, we're going to be back myself and Debbie and the entire team here on Crafters Companion in two hours' time for our fantastic craft house. Listen, we want to see what you've been creating today in Craft Along. And remember, come back and watch us later on. Save the show and you can do it in your own time. In the meantime, I'll see you in two hours. Take care for now.